Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at type 2. That is another type where we would construct a quadrilateral but this time not all the sides would be given. Something else will be given. So here the quadrilateral with three sides and two diagonals. So instead of one diagonal, now we will know both the diagonals. But this time we will not know all the four sides. We will just know three sides. So let's see in this case, how do we go about it? So let's say that you have to construct a quadrilateral GOLD such that OL is equal to 7.5 centimeters, GL is equal to 6 centimeters, GD is equal to 6 centimeters, LD is equal to 5 centimeters and OD is equal to 10 centimeters. So these are the lengths that are given. So for that let us first try to do a rough sketch. So this is how the rough sketch could be. So let us say this is G O L D. So here O L is given. So this O L is given as 7.5. G L. G L is nothing but the diagonal. So G L is given as 6. G D. That is this length is given as 6 again. L D. L D is this length which is given as 5. And O D which is again the diagonal is given as 10. So both the diagonals are given and three sides are given. So OG is the side which is not mentioned. So in this case, how do we go about it? So here also we will draw one of the diagonals first. So which diagonal will we draw? So we can draw as such any diagonal. So here we have drawn the diagonal OD first. So first we draw a line segment of length OD which is equal to 10 centimeters. So once we have drawn OD, let us try to find out this point L because this is the triangle. So if you look at it, in triangle ODL, we know the values of all the three sides. So one we have already drawn that is OD. So we know OL, we also know DL. So let us first try to draw this triangle. So at from point O, we draw an arc at a distance of 7.5 centimeters. Similarly from point D, we draw an arc at a distance of 5 centimeters and then we see that these two arcs they meet at a point. So we join this point from O as well as D. So that's how we are able to construct one part. One half of the quadrilateral is almost done. So now let's try to do it for the other side. So now we do not know the length of this side but we know this length which is 6 and we also know this length which is 6. So what we would do is we would keep our center at point L and then we will draw an arc using, an, using a compass at a distance of 6 centimeters. So at a distance of 6 centimeters from L we draw an arc. Similarly at a distance of 6 centimeters from D we draw another arc and we would see that this arc, two arcs they meet at a point and this point from this point you join these two lines. So basically what is this point? Look at the rough sketch and try to find out what is this point. This point is nothing but point G. So now you have found out G, you already knew O. So what you need to do is just join G and O. So what do you get? This is nothing but the quadrilateral G O L D. So you see whenever you are given both the diagonals and three sides there also your first approach would be to draw one diagonal and then draw one triangle or which you know all the three sides. So once you have drawn one triangle then your task becomes comparatively easier. So then in that case you can take the help of the second diagonal and the third side to draw the fourth side. So let us have a quick recap. So in these kind of problems, we first draw one of the diagonals, then we draw one of the triangles using the SSS construction condition. Now for, in order to draw a triangle by SSS construction condition, it is important that the measurement of all the sides of the triangle are given. 
draw an arc from point L to locate the point G because now we know the measurement of this diagonal. Draw another arc from point B to locate the point G. So this is how we will locate point G and finally we joined OG which was the fourth side of the quadrilateral. So the result was that we obtained G O N D gold a quadrilateral. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.